This is By The Bottle TV, and we're in Oakland, California today. We're gonna to make a Pisco Negroni. This is my boy, Paul Navarro. I'm Drew Johnson. All right, we're gonna start off with our main ingredient, Pisco. Put this out here for you just because if you're gonna to try to make this, you're going to BevMo, you're not gonna find what I'm using, which is the stuff my family brought over. So you're gonna to have to look for something like this. So I asked him to make me a cocktail that's different from your ultra sweet, kind of oversaturated drink, something a little bit more complex, something with bite, uh, along the lines of an old fashioned, but different. One and a half ounces of Pisco in dew. Already got two big ice cubes in here that's gonna help us chill it out in a couple seconds. And then we've got our, our form of uh, sweet vermouth that we're using from BevMo, uh, Antica Formula 1786. A little bit better than the Dolans or the other cheaper off-brands out there. It's got a little bit more, a little more character, I think. Just one ounce of this guy right here. And then the thing that's gonna make Drew, I think, happy when he's looking for that structure okay. is this Campari. This stuff is bitter. Um, it definitely sort of wakes you up or whatever. And when you mix it with these other two, I think it just perfectly balances out. Uh, and it gives you that sort of like old American kind of feel, right? Mm -hmm. But in something totally different. Cause Pisco is definitely off the beaten path for most people. Then you need just a little bit of Angostura bitters, again, for some of that structure. Three dashes, all you really need, and then we start stirring. And Pisco is great fermented alcohol. Yep. It's not wine, but it's more along the lines of an 80 proof vodka. I mean, is that the closest thing you can compare it to? I mean, I think vodka is probably not, not that bad of a comparison. I mean, grappa is also another one. Okay. But for whatever reason, in Peru, the way that they make their uh, great distilled alcohol just ends up tasting much different than a lot of grappas that I've had, but maybe I haven't had enough. And we'll, we'll try more and more on uh, the Is this something bottle. you can shoot? Like take shots of? Oh, definitely. Okay. Definitely. And God knows, man, let's be honest, my 18th, uh, 18th birthday, we had uh, quite a few of these things uh, in sure. shots and drinks and cups and all sorts of forms. Uh, but that's a story for another day. Yeah. Anyways, after you're done stirring for about 30 seconds, you grab a pre chilled glass and pour it out. That's really good. It's refreshing, uh, definitely not too sweet. Has a little bit of bite, um, but that's a great cocktail. Awesome, man, glad you like it. Hope you guys give it a shot. Tell us what you think, leave some comments down below, and until next time, it's By The Bottle TV. See ya.